Hey y'all, hey, what's up? Ace here, uh, filming your week 9 of Battle of the Exes 2 recaps, y'all. You guys may have noticed that I don't have an intro for this particular episode of the challenge, and that is because I don't have an intro. <laughs> But that is okay, because I will have one for the finale, I promise you. I feel like you can already guess uh, what team I'm going for. I don't know why, but I just feel like you can maybe get a sense of who I'm, who I'm, who I'm siding with. So this week's episode started off with drinking time, as they all should, and I feel like this week we're really going to need a drink. We're going to need a beverage. Everybody go get a beverage. I'll wait for you. Wes is now talking to Leroy about how he's played the perfect game ever, and uh, he thinks that all the teams should have their aim out for Jay and Jenna. Next morning during combos at the gym, Sarah and Jordan are talking about how Wes is a good businessman, but they don't think that he's going to help them at all in the end. And they're probably right. Jordan goes on and sits down and talks to Wes about how he's done playing the game. And he's just going to let shit happen as it's going to happen for the rest of this. Basically telling Wes that he is not going to guarantee his safety. And Wes is not happy about that. Also, he tells Wes that he thinks Teresa is pretty much a bitch. And so I'm really agreeing with Jordan right now. <laughs> Wes is now super pissy because his plan is totally thrown off by what Jordan just said. And now Wes goes and tells Teresa that Jordan said that Teresa thinks that her shit don't stink. And she is like... <laughs> What? And to prove to Teresa that Wes is not lying about this, Wes says, On Bible, my mom, verbatim. LOL. Now Teresa is all like, Fuck, I'm gonna cry like a little bitch. And she has one of those ugly cry faces like Claire Danes. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I actually do too when I cry, I have an ugly cry face. So... I guess we have something in common. So now Sarah tells Jordan, and oh my god, telephone game much? Three people trying to keep up with what the fuck is going on in this house while solving puzzles. This is the challenge. Telephone edition. Now Jordan is back to fighting with Wes, and Wes is of course like, Oh, I'm the best, and I've been the best. And what Jordan had to say next was just priceless as fuck. Congratulations! Who gives a fuck? We're here and now, not 10 years ago, and you are not the same roided up West that you were. Laugh my fucking ass off. <laughs> Hashtag one hand swag. So now Jordan tells Jay that Wes said that the only reason that he has kept him and Jenna around this long is because he planned on throwing them out at the end, which they're calling a layup. Jay's pissed, obviously. <laughs> Oh, what could that be? It's a message from TJ. It says, meet me in the dome in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? I would be freaking out. I wouldn't even have time to take a nervous shit in 20 minutes. <laughs> Panic! Everybody's freaking out, of course. They don't know what the fuck they're going to the dome for in 20 minutes. And you know, it's never really a good thing if you're going to the dome unexpectedly in the first place. I love Sarah. This is one of those what the heck do I wear moments. I have the perfect outfit for you, girl. You should wear your oh my god, I have no fucking idea what's actually going on in this game at all. Fuck my life t-shirt. You're welcome. Moving on to the special dome that nobody expected. <laughs> it kind of hurt my voice. <laughs> TJ is like, check it out, guys. As Zach and John A walk back into the dome and everybody's like, oh, wow, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. So TJ goes on to explain the whole shebang behind this exile that they never knew about. I knew about it. You guys knew about it. But they didn't know about it. <laughs> and they're all floored. And this is fucking great. I actually didn't know how I felt about this whole exiled situation until this moment. This moment makes it all worth it. It makes all those nights going to MTV.com and having to watch six ads in between the video worth it. Maybe. Here we go. I love how everybody's super surprised and they're like, oh, like they've been here the entire time and we just like didn't know. And then Jenna's like, I'm so confused. 
Ooh, butterfly. Girl, it is okay. So Wes seems to think that it's gonna be Bananas and Nani showing up next and he is not wrong. Guys, they come out skipping and riled the fuck up to take over. They're like, yeah, bitches. We've been here the whole time. You just didn't know, but we've been winning. We've been taking bitches out and we're here to take you out now. The banana that you like to hate is about to set the record straight. He should totally be a rapper and he should wear his own hat like this sideways. Oh wait, ha. <laughs> Backwards camera. <laughs> They've already sent home several teams in Battle of the Exiles, and now they're about to take out Zach and Johnny. Oh yeah, Bananas is coming for you. Mm -mm. Bananas talking about how Wes feels that Bananas is back killed me. I think Wes feels like somebody just took a big giant dump on his birthday cake. That's exactly how he looks. <laughs> it is challenge time. It takes two to tango. They have to work together to tangle up this rope around this contraption jungle gym cage thing. And then when they're done tangling it up, they then have to switch and untangle the other team's tangling. So here we go. Let's get tangled up. Zack starts off the challenge, of course, by talking about what a bitch it is to work with John A. Good start, partner. Great start. Bananas and Nani take a few minutes to get situated and started up, but once they do, they still look confused. Bananas punches Nani right in the face with the rope, and it's great. <laughs> I would watch that on replay. Please somebody put that in a vine. Just have it replaying the entire thing over and over and over again. Sorry, Nani, I'm sure it hurt, but it was hilarious. Bananas, you should not hit a lady. Don't make me take this hat off. Meanwhile, Zack is carrying the rope and letting Jeanne lead and make all the decisions. Is it a full moon tonight? That's just strange, but she's doing a damn good job. Or so it looks. Now they switch sides, and each team has to figure out how to untangle what the other team just did. Bananas and Nani don't start off so good. Looks like Zack and Jeanne tangled shit up pretty well over there. And I'm getting a little afraid, not too much, but a little afraid, up until uh, Zack and Jeanne uh, tangle themselves up while untangling pretty well. They, they wind up making another knot within themselves. So now they're all confused. Wes is on the sidelines like, fix the mistake, calibrate. Why is he always trying to use big words that don't matter here? <laughs> it's like people trying to sound smart on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's just not gonna happen. A simple get it together would have been better. Now Banani take this advantage to speed the fuck up. Zack and John A fix their rope and Zack's got it all wrapped around his arm and it's all together and stuff and Sarah's like, sexy organized rope, mm -hmm. Organization really turns Sarah on. John A is climbing to the top of the cage and she's gonna make her way back down and so she jumps and oh my God, she falls right on her fucking face. I was laying on the couch like, ooh, ow. Glad it's her and not me. She gets up and she keeps going and I'm like, ah! Oh, they're so close to each other, kill me. And they're both side by side and they're just pulling and pulling and everybody's trying to gather their rope and Nani and Banana start to gather it in the fucking circle and I'm like, ah, go! Long story short, they pull all their rope into that bitch and win! And I'm so stoked. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so relieved. Banani, what's my name? Banani, what's my name? Banani, what's my name? What's my name? What's my name? So <laughs> they make it all into the circle and then they lay down on top of each other and on top of the rope and they happily take a long and painful nap. <laughs> Poor Teresa is crying about it. This was her time. This was Teresa time and they had to come back and they had to ruin it. <laughs> Girl needs a tissue for all them issues. So I guess now is the time to say bye, Zach. I won't miss you. <laughs> John A, girl, nicely done this season. Can we just hug it out? I feel like, I feel like we just need, we, we need to connect. Just come here, come here. That's it. Accept the love. Accept it. I'm happy about it. Bananas is definitely happy about it. He's popping water bottles. He's so fucking excited. You have to be excited to pop water bottles. I mean, it's just water. <laughs> TJ loves surprising people, dude. He's all like super smiley after this and he's like, I told y'all never to get comfortable. Back at the house, Sarah is super stoked that Banana is back and they're talking about how they're good for each other. Now Leroy sits down with Bananas and he's telling him like, dude, while you were away, like I thought you were gone. 
and I had to team up with somebody, so, and Bananas is like, Don't tell me that you're working with Wes or I might throw up. And Leroy's like, mm, I am. I mean, I had to. I had to. Now here comes Wes. He's walking up. Dun, dun, dun. He sits on the ground. He's trying to talk to Bananas and Leroy. And he's like, it doesn't have to be like this. It is. So walk away, dude. He knows his game is all kinds of fucked up now. Let's move on to the next challenge. It came in like a wrecking ball. TJ explains to everybody that this challenge, everybody's going to be suspended 30 feet up in the air on this square contraption and a wrecking ball will be released which is basically a punching bag not an actual wrecking ball there would be death and we can't show that on tv anyway they'll have to try to grab the wrecking ball and then use it to fling it at another opponent and knock them off into the water just to make this more fun they equipped everybody with two dodgeballs that they can use as extra ammo in this challenge <laughs> this is fun at the beginning while everybody's getting on top of the contraption standing on the little boxes that they have to stand on naya is having a fucking anxiety attack she's literally like this she's kneeling on the box and she's like <laughs> can i just jump off <laughs> I don't want to be up here. And TJ standing down at the bottom like, dude, if you're, if you're gonna jump, just fucking jump already so we can get this shit going. She jumps off. Wow. I would think that there were already scarier challenges that she had to be suspended above water. And um, she didn't jump off then, so I'm just kind of wondering like, why now? when you're so close to the end. The challenge starts and of course, everybody immediately goes for Wes. So funny. They're hitting him in the head with balls. He's like, I deserve that. <laughs> At least he knows. Bananas knocks Teresa right backwards into the water. And he's like, I'm so excited that I finally get the chance to hit a woman when it's okay. And uh, <laughs> That's a weird comment. I'm gonna let it slide. <laughs> Jordan then uses the dodgeball and hums it right at Wes's head. And it bounces and he's like, Ooh, and he's doing all these to try to save himself from falling in the water. Wes could not catch his balance and winds up falling into the water, which is amazing. They are the first ones out and they are headed to the dome. Ah! Oh shit. Leroy goes on and sits down <laughs> when he's supposed to be standing up and everybody's like, Leo, what are you, what are you doing? And he just like jumps off and he's just like, you know what, fuck it. I think I'm safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Take a swim. He just really likes the water. You guys know this. He loves swimming. Duh. But I don't know if you should have banked on the fact that you're safe. Because you never know in this game when you're safe. You should always act like you are the furthest from safe that you could ever be in the history of safeness. Next to go in is Sarah. And then Jay is eliminated. He's out too. Bananas accidentally falls backwards off the platform into the water. Sure he did. Now Jordan and Jenna are left up there against each other and Jordan makes Jenna fall into the water and they show Jenna's ass floating in the water because that is completely necessary. Moving on, the winners of the challenge were Sarah and Jordan. Da, 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 da. So they are the power couple and meanwhile Teresa is still crying. Yep. Crying Teresa happens to be my favorite Teresa, so I just don't know why we can't just keep her crying. Naya is worried that Jordan is going to pick them to go in to the dome against Wes and Teresa because of their history. And before she mentioned what their history was, I had forgotten about their history, but I'm so happy that she brought that back to my memory. Ah. Uh, memories. Jordan and Sarah at their power couple dinner. Cheers to Nani and Bananas on them being back in the game and they are happy about it. Jordan then talks to Naya and Leroy about how he plans on sending them in and Leroy is not happy at all, gets up, walks away, leaves Naya there because she wants to stay and tell them off. Sarah and Jordan are trying to tell Naya that they want them to go in so that they can win and come back because they want them back. And Naya is like, no, you guys have never respected me, blah, 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 blah. Leroy comes and takes her from the table. At the deliberation, Jordan winds up sending in Naya and Leroy and he's talking about sometimes you just have to send in people you like, people that are friends. And in the middle of that, Naya is just laughing her ass off. She gets up and she walks on the table, across the table, over to TJ to stand in the front where she proceeds to go off on everyone and everything. Hurricane Naya. Full force wins. Category five. Unlike everybody else in this house, I am not going to eat bananas dingleberries. <laughs> Naya goes after Nani about 
fucking everybody in the house. She said she's the champion of bleep, 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 bleep. And they are about to just throw down on top of the table. And as soon as they're about to do this, MTV goes ahead and punches us right in the face with a 2B continued. The main highlight of the ending of this episode is that I don't have to go to mtv.com and watch a Battle of the Exile video. So guys, tell me down in the comments what you thought about this week's episode. Who do you think is going to win in the end of all of this? Do you think Naya and Nani are going to throw down on the table? And who do you think is going to win that throw down, huh? Tell me what team you're for down in the comments. I am obviously team Banani. So as always, you guys know at the end of these recaps, we all have to get together and dance for DM. So I hope you'll join me in this ridiculousness. <laughs>